All right, here we go again, and uh, welcome back, everybody, here at the Progressive Auto Sales Arena. Happy to tell you, the Sarnia Sting leading 2-1 to one over the Sioux Greyhounds. Um, it was interesting, that goal review that was out there. I wasn't, I, I kind of caught the tail end of it. Did you see why they called the review? I mean, they, it, it kind of just flew and went in. Yeah, no, they were looking to see if it was offside. Offside, right. I was actually, from my vantage point where I stand, I can see up into the, into the booth, the video booth. So when they're looking oh. for stuff, I, I, I can't, I'm not that close, but I can see what highlight they're looking at, and they were looking at the offside. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah, All so. right. Well, that's good. We got the inside scoop here with our friend Jake Chersky. Scoop so high. Happy New Year, by the way. Happy New Year to you. Yeah? Yeah. Did you, did you got a haircut? No, I washed it. Oh. <laughs> You're supposed to say yes. I'll say yes. <laughs> it is quite a hockey game out there. Um, you know, Jay Beckham and I were talking earlier, but, you know, obviously this is the number one team in our division. They're fourth overall. We're 11th um, by nine points. I'll, I'll ask you sort of the same question I asked you. How important is the overall right now, or is it really not? I I don't think so. I mean, you want to be playing systems, you know, so they're working for you, and you want to be winning games. Just don't worry about the points. I, I've never been a fan of worrying about the points. Don't worry about your yeah. rankings. Are you playing the best that you can? What can you tweak? What can you fix? Because when it's working perfect, obviously you're going to be winning games. So right. It's going to come hand in hand. But me, uh, I'm a psychological coach. Like, I'm all about that. So kind of play your best and let's do what we can do as a group and as a team. Yeah. And we'll worry about the points because they'll be there at the end of the day. Do you think the players check out the points and where they're at? Or do you think? I, I would think some of them, obviously, some of them do. Yeah. You know, but I would also think for the math of it, though. Like, I would just think, okay, you know, we played 38 games. They played 35. Right. They're nine points ahead of us. It's like, man, this is a big game. We got to win this game. Yeah. Because we need the two points. Because now we've both played one more game. But if they move two points farther ahead, that's kind of a four-point swing. Now we got to win two more games. Yeah. So I'm sure there's a couple math guys on the team <laughs> that you know they would look at that stuff to try to figure out the math from it. For sure. Uh, we'll mention our our, our goal scorers. Hugo Lavinius in there. I think he's now, that's his 23rd of the season. Way to go, Hugo. Yes. And Ryan McGregor in there with another one. I, both great goals, quite honestly. Say, two They're nice goals. Well played. Uh, Hugo's, I, I love Hugo's goal because, again, they came they came in on the on the net on our side where I stand. And it was, it was nice because he can either shoot or pass. And the goalie couldn't move because of the pass yeah. like, and it wasn't like so it was just it was kind of nice that he made it look like he was going to take a shot and he just slid it by nice tip in it really it was a nice goal it was a nice goal um and and honestly we always there's been a lot of missed goals out there too there's been a lot of great uh setups happening there the sarnia sting i would say are really on their game tonight as far as uh presenting themselves how they're presenting themselves to each other and setting up the plays almost like the textbook we would love to see at every game, right? Yes, they're, they're playing very well tonight. Um, obviously, there's you know a couple little missed passes or overstating of the puck, but sure. hey, no one's perfect right now. So uh, no, but they're fast. They're they're kind of grinding a little bit. The corners are fighting for pucks. Uh, looks like they desperately want this. And kind of referring back to the question that you said earlier, you know, are they really watching the standings and stuff? Well, you never know if you're going to meet these guys in the playoffs, so it's kind of nice to set precedence now. Sure. Because uh, psychologically, you can get in their heads for later on. Yeah. So, um, you know who I want to see really get a goal tonight? Spro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it, I, again, he's been right there so many times. Yeah. They've they've been passing the puck to him, and he's a fast. <laughs> Uh, he's been right up there a lot of times with a few shots. I, I, the one that I thought he was going to bring back was uh, he had the puck going right up to the goaltender, um, and the Sioux player kind of took it away from him, and he just doesn't quit. Even the, the puck's way back here. He's still reaching for that puck, and he took a shot, and I thought he was that would have been a beautiful goal. It would have been nice. <laughs> you know what? He, uh, Whenever he's on the ice, he's, he's moving his feet. He's always skating. He's hustling. You don't see him drift. You don't see him float. Well, um, and that's great. And it, you know what? It's going to extend his hockey career. Uh, you know, some pro team will like that uh, along the way, no matter where it is. 
and uh, they're going to appreciate that. He'll get rewarded for that, even if it's for a few more years or whatever. Yeah, so, that's right. Good on him. Yeah. Well, and as I said, Ryan McGregor, uh, nice to see him coming in there with a goal as well. And uh, Hugo Lavinius, and Hugo's at like 23 goals for this season. Uh, and Jacob Perot, not with a goal yet, but uh, in with one of those assists as well. Yeah, he, OHL Rookie of the, of the Month. That's right. Last month. That's so right. Hats off to him and congratulations. But uh, you know what? I, again, I, I'm so happy about the, I'm so happy about the team, uh, the way they play, the way they come together and stuff. Oh, well, there's Jay Pack doing he's what doing I did. This. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Move yeah. along. Move along. Okay, Jay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, hi, hello. He's just got to get in there. <laughs> right. uh, but the team's playing well, and you know what? I just, I think they deserve from their effort that you know the boys have been been playing with all year. Uh, you know, aside from the three games that they got crushed, but they've been playing well. And they're not. I don't think they're veering from their systems. Right. And I, I think they need to be rewarded, and hopefully they can with a little bit of a playoff run. Yeah. It would, it would just be nice to maybe see. They haven't really been consistent throughout the year, right? You know, it would be nice to see more of that consistency. Um, but do you, or do you think, I don't know. I think they have been. Really? If you think, I mean, I mean, they had the, well, how's this for consistency? I mean, first of the year they started out with like 8-0 or something like that. And then they kind of, they lost a little bit. And then they had a they tanked for seven games. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, fair you enough. Know what? I, fair I, enough. I think they generally every weekend because they're at 500 too. I, right. I, I mean, or close to. I mean, there are a few games above it, but really for the general, the most part of it, you can say that they're you know they're winning two and losing one, and then they lose a couple, and then. All so right. I, I think they're playing very consistent. Well, they're um, not quitting. That's for sure. They're, they're not quitting, but boy, when they stink, they stink. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Well, and, and did you see the London game? I did. And oh, you I did? Was, okay. I, was I missed so, it. I was so upset with it. I just. What it, happened there? What was wrong there? I don't know. It it, um, it was a great game. First period, second period. It was good. really chippy in the second period. I was excited about it. Yeah? Because I thought, oh, here we go. A good old-fashioned London, London uh, Sarnia game. And then all of a sudden in the third, it was just like everybody calmed down. It was okay. like they gave everybody like... Uh, some sort of build to calm them down, a little out of anger. The whatever. wrong one, obviously. Yeah, and everybody kind of calmed down, and and then there was, I don't like to blame the refs, but there were some kind of off calls, and I think it got into, you know, the heads, and then a power play scores, and it's like, and I've been there on that side as well, as so oh, here we go again. And once you get that, that, that attitude beats you down. Yeah. And um, unfortunately, that's, that's what happened, and... But you know what? They, they came out gangbusters, and I'm, I'm a pretty positive guy, so we beat them the night before, so I and, don't care. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, right. So, I mean, it, it was a good battle. Yeah. I mean, I think fairly, too, uh, the London fans are super loyal fans. They're yes. very supportive, and uh, I imagine that arena was super loud. Well, it would have been, you know, being on the holidays, too. I think they fill the place all the time anyway, so yeah. they're nine to 10,000 deep, whether you like it or not. I mean, but you know what? Just the same, I don't think because the fans screaming for one team or the other, me as a player, if I was playing in that atmosphere, guess what? It's showtime, and you're going to see the best I got. <laughs> and I don't care whether you're cheering for me or not. So it just being having that ability, you know, you got 21 guys sitting on the bench, you have that ability to show off in front of 10,000 people, I'll show you who the next guy in the All NHL right. is going to be. That would be my attitude. I'll give you something to scream about. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there you go. I want you on my team. If we ever play hockey together, I, I want you on my team. <laughs> okay, I'll be, yeah, I'll, I'll be in charge of the bench. Yeah, I'll yeah. be the water boy. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> Two to one right now as the starting to see take over the lead here. Oh, we have a happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. I, they started doing that. That's uh, if They didn't do it for a while, but now. Oh, I always thought they did. There you go. Happy Maybe birthday. they just started doing the graphics for it. I thought they always mentioned it, but... There's a lot of birthdays. Maybe I just was sleeping. Maybe I was doing this and not paying enough Maybe. attention. Uh, shout out to uh, Madison Bruner who watched our last broadcast. And she posted there uh, on the broadcast for a shout out. So there you go, Madison, if you're watching. I think it's Madison or Maddie, sorry. Ms. Bruner. <laughs> If you have any comments, uh, this is something we want to uh, start new. If you have any comments or questions you want us to talk about as we go to the next broadcast, our next broadcast, Jay Peckham 
will return, the return of Jay Beckham. Uh, post your comments below here. We're only now going to be just on Facebook. We will share it, uh, the links to Twitter, but if you want to see it live, you want to see it right here on Facebook. So post your comments, ask your questions, and then we'll check them out at the end of our live, and hopefully we can uh, include that into our next broadcast. What's this Sarnia Sting got to do here as they come into the third period? Or the second period, sorry. Second period, I'd say just they're, they're doing okay. I don't yeah. think they have anything to change. Just keep, you know, keep up the pace. Keep skating fast. Uh, nice little body checks, you know. The cliches, the forecheck, the back check. Yeah. Uh, well, I haven't seen a lot of aggression here just yet. No, I... A little I, stick, stick, little, yeah, I don't know. There's a, I mean, Hugo took a horrible penalty at the end. He got, yeah. he got bumped. I didn't see what happened, but he got up pretty angry and then kind of slashed the guy's stick, buck, whatever. Got two minutes for it, so boo for him. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, you got to keep in control of yourself, especially late in the period, right? But, I mean, if you're going to get a penalty, late in the period's the best time because if you can split up that power play, uh, right. this way they don't get a flow going. You know, when you start turning into an arcade game on the one end, the shooting gallery, because they got two minutes of that. Right. Uh, so it's nice that it's split up, but just the same you know what? You got to keep calm and just grab a number. And when you get an opportunity for a nice hit, sure, later, sure, real easy to do sometimes. It, it is, especially <laughs> when there's 40 minutes left of the game. So, um, well, and, and interesting uh, after uh, the London game here in Sarnia, and we had post game with Sean Josley, uh, I asked him that question. You know, I said it seemed like London was poking the bear near the end of that game. And I asked him, how do you hold on to those emotions, you know, because that that can be, you can only take that so many times, isn't it, right? Yeah. <laughs> you see, you want to hit me now. Yeah, I do. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> but really, that's that's what happens. They poke in that bear yeah. or kicking the dog when he's down kind of thing. And uh, those emotions get in the way, and that can be the devastation of a, a loss of a game. Well, absolutely. And it, you know what? A good team will do that. They know if you can be the, the poker instead of the pokey, if you will, um, it's always the best because you know you're agitated. It's kind of like teasing on the playground, sort of. It is a little na 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 Yeah, it's a little bit. Perfect. Jake Tursky, <laughs> thanks for joining me. Thanks. And make sure you uh, visit our friend Jake Tursky uh, during the week for lunch. You got anything new this year? Have you tried anything new? No. I thought I saw a couple of posts you were doing. I've been, I've been rocking female bacon and cheese the last oh, few days. Oh, yeah. It's been very good, so I don't know what may, but... Uh, you got any left? We'll have to see. I do have some okay. left. Okay. Tomorrow, Dave. Tomorrow's your day. Tomorrow's your day. I'll see what I can do. It's a half pounder. Oh, great. Yes. There goes that New Year's yes. resolution out the window. Okay, you can have the quarter pounder. <laughs> All right, two to one. I'll be there. 988 Confed Philly Cheese Jakes. Check them out. Uh, two to one. Right now, let's see what the Sarnia Sting bring us at the end of second period. Again, Jay Peckham will be back to join us. Post your comments below, everybody. On behalf of the Video Show Network, hey, guys. On behalf of the Video Show Network and the show live on location, I'm David Burroughs and my friend Jake Tursky. We will talk to you again soon.